Hello everyone, welcome back to Stella Zone. I trust that you and your family are having an amazing day or you are doing wonderful, okay? This is your first time, thank you for subscribing and you're welcome. So we're gonna get into today's video. Today's video, Mama Bear is going to be meal prepping, okay? I'm going to be meal prepping. So without, I mean, further ado, let's just get into the kitchen and let me show you what I'm going to be making, okay? I'm making light soup and um, spinach stew and stew for wache and palm nut soup. So let's get into the kitchen and let's prep before baby gets here. So I'm going to start up, um, I'm going to show you the ingredient that I'm going to be using in making uh, my meal prep today, okay? So I have turkey berries, okay? Which in Ghana we call abedru, okay? Abedru. Um, I have half of a green bell pepper. I have some poblano pepper. I have one red bell pepper. I have some Asian um, green eggplants here. I have tomatoes, okay? I have about four tomatoes. I have onions. I'm going to use lots of onion. I have a whole clove of garlic. I have ginger. Shallots, okay? And then I'm, I have some tomato paste. Tomato paste. I have two crushed tomatoes, two different brands that I'm going to be using. And of course, I have my palm cream. Okay. Praise. Praise. <laughs> of, and for the seasoning, I usually go, I mean, not so much, very light. So I have my Badia complete seasoning. I have some nutmeg, which will go in the stew, the watch stew. I have rosemary and cumin. Okay. Don't forget your salt. I have sea salt and pink Himalayan salt as well. I have this in here is palm, palm nut um, paste. You know, from last time I made palm nut, I had some left, so I'm going to use that. And then, of course, I'm going to need some meat. So let me push everything back. So um, I have some turkey, okay, smoked turkey. That will go for the light soup. My mom will be making the light soup in her kitchen. I have some, these are the chicken from grass um, root, okay? So I have some chicken drumstick, uh, boneless ones and um, bone-in ones. I have some chicken liver, okay, just awesome. I have some ground turkey which I'm going to be using to make the spinach stew this time around. And I have a whole chicken. Okay, I'm gonna um, try and divide this. I will use more for the palm nut soup and just a little bit to add to the turkey to cook the um, light soup. My mom will cook the light soup because she is the expert in making light soup. She makes amazing light soup. So, so far, this is what I have. And of course, I'm going to be adding some hot habanero pepper i have red habanero pepper so i'm <laughs> i'm talking so fast i'm like out of breath so i'm going to be adding some spicy um chili pepper as well so let's get started i'm going to start to cook some of the vegetables and then i will start working on the meat okay so let's get started so i'm starting off with the turkey berries i'm just taking it off the stems okay and then i will wash it so i'll cook the turkey berries some pepper, tomatoes, and the eggplant, and I'm going to split that between my um, spinach stew and my palm nut soup, okay? Turkey berry is very good for all you. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm washing the vegetables now, which is just the eggplant and the turkey berry, and then it's going to go into my pot. Next, I'm washing my tomatoes. And then I'm adding three habanero, red habanero pepper to this. And then I'm going to be adding one medium sized onion. Going to add some hot water and then I'll sit this on the stove and let it boil so everything is nice and soft. 
So the next thing I'm going to prepare now is my wache slash jollof stew. So I'm going to make a lot of stew um, and then sort of use half for wache and then half for jollof. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using lots of onions for this. Okay, lots of onions, lots of ginger and lots of garlic. Okay, and this is where my poblano pepper comes in and some sweet um, bell pepper. I try not to add too much bell pepper because... It makes it can make the stew especially the red bell pepper because it's sweet it can make it very very sweet okay so I try not to add too much I'll just add a little bit started off with the onion so let me bring you guys up to speed of what I have so far so this is going to be for the excuse Nathaniel in the background who desperately wants to go for a walk so this is going to be for the stew, okay? So I have the poblano pepper. I have uh, the half of the green bell pepper that I showed you. I only ordered, I, I said ordered, I only added a quarter size of the red bell pepper. I have three vadalian or yellow, you can have yellow or sweet onion. And then I have one red onion, okay? I had uh, about three to four um, shallots. Um, they are very small. It's a mix of um, shallot and red pearl onion okay so and then three habanero pepper because these are very spicy on this side i have um some ginger okay so this is about i'll probably say 60 about 60 grams 60 grams of ginger so i'm going to be adding some to the stew that i'm going to make good amount of ginger okay and then now we are working on the garlic as you can see i have another onion here and um two small shallots and this is going to be for the chicken i'm making uh, my seasoning uh, that is going to do all the marinade for the chicken so i have my garlic here have a good amount of garlic so there we go so just so that it's easy to like peel just take the skin off All right, so now I'm going to be adding the onion, which I'm going to use to marinate the or cook the chicken. Shallot, I'm going to be adding about three or four cloves of garlic. The rest of the garlic is going to go in my stew. And then I'll add some later for my soup. And also don't forget the ginger. I'll add a little bit of um, rosemary. Okay, maybe about a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, add water, and then I will blend, and then I'll blend this mixture. It will go onto the chicken. So this is it so far, stew, marinade for chicken. So set aside, and then with, I'm going to, I want to finish with the vegetables. So once I use this ball to cut the chicken, I'm not going to put any vegetable on there. So now I have some, I have one onion, three tomatoes, two shallots, okay? They are all washed, peeled and clean. So I'm just slicing this. I'm going to be using this to make my uh, spinach stew. So now our vegetables are ready, okay? So this is going to be for my eggplant stew. Oh, sorry. This is going to be for my spinach stew, okay? So I'll set that, that aside. This is going to be for the wache slash jollof rice stew. So I'm going to transfer everything now into the blender. And then when you blend in this, please do not use water. I'm using oil. To blend for my stew. <laughs> I'm using avocado oil. So just add some avocado oil. So this is it. This is the vegetables for the stew. 
it's all blended now so I'll set that aside and then I'm going to start working on the chicken all right so now I'm going to be working on my meat okay vegetables are done meat is going to be cut up okay looks like there's a little bit of ice in there so Oh, <laughs> I'm at the, I'm cutting up the breast now. So now these are the drumsticks, which I'm adding, and I have about six of them. And then the next thing I'm adding is the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay, thighs, thighs, thighs. My butchering session is over, okay? So the next thing, the last thing I have on here is some um, chicken liver. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with these, okay? These are going to be going into stew. So since this is just a uh, um, chicken, I'm cooking everything chicken related together. So now this is done, I'm going to rinse this off in cold water and it will go into the pot and we will start cooking, okay? So prepping is over. So I'm just adding some onions, okay? Chop up some onions, dice up, dice up some onions um, to the meat. So this is the onion, the ginger, and the garlic that I blended. That's going to go onto the chicken. And then I'm going to be adding some African basil, okay? Uh, this is like real, okay, authentic Ghana Akoko Mesa. Akoko Mesa. Oh, it smells amazing. So just, you can blend it, but I'm just adding it directly to it. Uh, I'll add in some Bedia seasoning. About one tablespoon should be fine. And then... I will add in some salt as well. I'm adding the pink salt, so about one tablespoon as well. The next thing I will do is I'm going to make sure this is all mixed together so that you know everything is well coated with the, with the seasoning. And then we'll let this cook for I will probably say about 20 minutes. I have my oil in the pot. It's heated. This is the sauce for the stew, okay? So I'm going to be adding this to the oil. Cover it a little bit so it doesn't splatter everywhere. with my stew i will usually let the sauce cook for 20 to 30 minutes before i add the tomato um the crushed tomato or the tomato paste so this is going to be cooking for 20 to 30 minutes so the sauce has been cooking for a little over i'll say 21 almost 22 minutes i'm going to be adding my crushed tomatoes this is 28 ounces okay Fresh tomatoes, I'm adding two times. And then I'm adding, this is six ounces of tomato paste, okay? I'm not going to add the whole thing. I'm scooping about almost, I probably, I have about maybe a two tablespoons left in here. Okay. So just mix it. You're going to cook this on medium to low heat for about, I would say, 45 minutes to about an hour, okay? 45 minutes to an hour. Trust me, once you use this crushed tomato sauce to make, like, stew, you won't want to go back to, like, traditional tomato paste. No. Chicken is done cooking. 
So now I'm going to transfer it into another pot and then start with the palm nut soup. So I'm going to blend the vegetables for the soup and as you can see the turkey berry, I'm using two of the eggplants, okay, two tomatoes and one onion. And of course three um, red habanero pepper. So I'm going to blend this and we'll go into our palm nut soup. So I'm adding my palm cream. I'm using the same pot that I used in cooking the meat. So now I'm going to add the palm paste. I don't think I'm going to use the whole thing. Um, that's good enough. So now I'm adding the blended vegetables. Adding some hot water. This is about four cups of water. So I'll say for now I have about five cups of water in the soup already. So I will still add some hot water. I'm going to add about two more cups of hot water. So I'm going to bring the soup to a boil and let it cook for about 30 minutes. Since everything is already cooked, you know, the meat is done. So I'll just add the meat. I do have some fish that I smoked earlier on. And so I'll add that as well. I'll add my spinach and it will be ready. I'm going, I'm going to be adding my seasoning to my stew. And what I have in here is one tablespoon of Bidia seasoning half a teaspoon of grated garlic, I'm um, sorry, grated nutmeg. I have half a teaspoon of rosemary and half a teaspoon of cumin. This is the chicken that we're going to the stew. So I have the drumstick. I have some liver, a little bit of um, chicken breast and some, you know, chicken with bones in. So yeah, I'm going to bake this at 425 for about 15 minutes, you know, and then it will go into my stew. After 30 minutes, see how much the soup has reduced. So I'm adding my meat, which is the cooked um, chicken. I'm going to now add my smoked fish, which I have mackerel and tuna and this other fish right here. Ah, this looks amazing. Last thing I'm adding is some chopped spinach. This step is optional. But I will highly, highly, highly recommend it. And then just stay it in. Make sure you've already added your salt, okay? I I have already added the salt and anything else I want to I want to add. So just make sure this is a really, really simple soup to make. So this is it. Yeah, just going to let this sit for another 15 minutes. And voila, it, it, it is very thick, like it is very, this palm nut cream is very thick. So the soup is going to um, thicken up every time, you know, you heat it up. So make sure you have like hot water here and just dilute it with the hot water to the consistency that you want. But this is amazing. So moving on to the third dish. My third and last dish, which would be the spinach stew. Everything is looking amazing so far. So I'm going to be adding, I have just about um, one teaspoon of oil in my pot here. This is the ground turkey. So I'm just gonna cook this for a few minutes. I'm adding a little bit of crushed pepper, crushed white pepper, a little bit of salt. So 
So once the meat is like cooked, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl and then continue with the stew. I've added some palm oil to my pot. And so I'm going to be, the next thing is I'm going to be adding some chopped onions, onions and shallot. I'm going to let the onions cook so it's like nice and soft, okay? On my left hand side, I have my stew that I made. Watch it, slash jollof rice stew. It's a lot of stew. I'm going to scoop the ones that I, the stew that I will use for my jollof rice. I'm going to scoop it and put it down. So this is enough to cook me about three to four cups of jollof rice. So I'm going to set this aside. Our chicken is done. So now I'm going to put the chicken, the big chicken, in the stew. Okay. I think if I say I can probably take it. Just looking, I'm going to add some chicken um, broth or chicken stock from the cooked chicken, but I'm adding the whole thing. And then I will let it cook for 10, 10 to 15 minutes. The onions are ready. I'm going to be adding the chopped up or diced, whatever sliced, whichever way you want to get yours. So I have sliced up tomatoes. So I'm going to yeah, add that. I'm going to cover this. Once I cover it, it will help the tomatoes to cook um, faster. Tomatoes and onions are looking very nice and soft. So the next thing is I'm going to be adding this blended sauce, which is the turkey berry, eggplant, onion, peppers, and then the tomato paste, I had a little bit of tomato paste from the stew left, so I added that to this and I blended it up. We are going to cook this for about 15 minutes. So this sauce has been cooking close to 15 minutes now. I'm adding some fish. This is a tuna and mackerel, okay? Smoked and flayed. So you pick the pieces of bones out, okay? So mix this in. Let it cook for about a minute. And then I'll add my ground beef back in here. So let me correct myself. This is not ground beef, okay? It's ground turkey. Turkey, turkey. So now I'm adding that in here. Mix it into my stew. Looks as if I've added a gushi or a gussie to the stew. Now I'm going to let this um, cook in here for about three minutes. You can go ahead and add your seasoning or you can wait till you add your spinach. I like to um, add it while I have my fish and the meat in there so that it can really cook into the meat. It will give it a nice flavor. So it's, I'm using the Bedia complete seasoning, okay? So add about one, you can add about one tablespoon. Sorry, one teaspoon. One teaspoon, okay? And then just add about a quarter teaspoon of cumin. If you want to add Maggi, go ahead and add your Maggi, okay? You can use just a little bit of Maggi, like a quarter size, yeah. Just divide your Maggi into four and just use one part. I just added two more spice, which is optional, okay? A quarter teaspoon of curry powder and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, okay? Oh, this smells amazing! Next thing I'm adding is spinach, okay? So I'm adding it straight from the bag. Usually I would take it out of the bag and squeeze the water out, the excess water, but I found it's really easy if you just make 
I'm a little cut on the side of the bag and then you squeeze the water out. Trust me, it's not gonna be messy and go everywhere. It's easier that way. So I just added three bags of um, spinach to the stew. I'm going to mix it in. My very last ingredient, salt. That's one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. So now I'm going to um, cover this and let this cook for about 10 minutes, okay? On medium to low heat. I wanted to sh show you one um, trick too. So if you want to wash your, you know, you want to wash the spinach, like I said, once you cut the, um, uh, once you cut the top part of the bag, just um, just the side, you can fill it with water, okay? And then massage it around and then squeeze the water out. Rather than you can cut the or cut in the spinach, put it in a pot, and then rinse in it with hot water. You can just do this straight from the bag. And that is easy to do. Okay. Now I love onions, so this is extra, okay? <laughs> this is something extra. You don't have to do this, but this is extra. I just like the crunchiness, you know, it brings to the stew when you bite into that onion. It's like, oh. So after 10 minutes, our spinach stew is ready and it is delicious. So after 10 minutes, the spinach stew is ready and delicious, all right? So this is made with ground turkey but you can use ground beef, chicken, any meat of your preference, okay? And I use palm nut, um, palm, <laughs> palm nut oil, but you don't have to use palm nut oil. You can use any oil of your preference, all right? So meal prep, motivational meal prep is done. I am beat, I am beat. So I have my light soup here. Like to the Mama v Mama Vida, Vida, Mama Vida made. Okay, it says chicken, turkey, and fish light soup. So you can see it's already starting to thicken up, and it is delicious. It's getting dark. <laughs> and then on the other side, on this side is my chicken stew that I made. So this is a chicken stew, okay, made with chicken, and it is also done, okay? I scooped a little bit on the side so I can make jollof rice with it. And the last but not the least on my list will be my palm nut soup, made with chicken as well. Smoked fish. And smoked fish, chicken and smoked fish. So yes, mom made these and I made these three. So for the next however months, I'm not going to be, I mean, at least <laughs> this should be able to last us for at least like 46 weeks, okay? After this, Steven plans on making lasagna and shepherd's pie. So, <laughs> so hope, I hope you enjoyed this episode with me. I am so tired um, after cooking all this food. So like, share, don't worry about the rest. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Until I come your way again with another video, remain in God, and bye-bye. Subscribe. All right, so meal prep is done. We have spinach stew. We have chicken stew. We have palm nut soup. And we have light soup. So all these should feed us for at least a month, maybe two, hopefully three. All depends on how hungry we are.